Hey guys, welcome back to another channel. And no, not again. I've stayed in the same clothes. Do you want to repeat that? What I say? Welcome back to another channel. <laughs> Four times in a row, it gets. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. And um, same clothes again. You know the deal. Filmed four intros in a row. Uh, did this painting recently. I've, yeah, there's still the hole in my pants. Shit. I did this painting recently, um, and it was quite a, quite a painful experience because I didn't know where I was going with it. I just knew I knew, wanted to do something with a cabin. So I know doing the background is pretty hard and time consuming. Um, yeah, and like, like the other one I did with the characters sitting in the lounge room. I like this style also. But uh, yeah, you can see halfway through the video that I wasn't sure about what color I wanted the sky and water, so I changed it. Anyway, please subscribe to my Patreon to get a more in-depth look at uh, the background of this video. Um, and yeah, over to Luke. Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. It's good to be back and I'm happy you're all here listening. So um, yeah, today's topic is under the subreddit of Today I Fucked Up. So I'm just going to get straight into the title and the title reads, Today I Fucked Up by saying, for fuck's sake, Karen, in front of my seven-year-old son. By the way, I feel bad for anyone that's named Karen right now because uh, it's probably the most memeable name. Karen is pretty much uh, just... Uh, a mother who demands to see the manager her hair is most likely colored and it is short and you know she doesn't tolerate anything she's always in the right and she just needs to see the manager just to you know throw her little abuse at her just because she's having a bit of a midlife crisis and she, you know she she needs to yell at someone and take it out on someone and you know it's her way or the highway um, don't like it then yeah that's a Karen anyway Let's read it. Maybe this video isn't about Karen, like the meme Karen, but maybe there's someone actually called Karen that she knows, or this guy knows. So yeah, let's read it. So, I was out walking with my seven-year-old son this morning for some daily exercise when we passed this woman shouting at three teenagers on bikes outside her house. Yep, it's definitely a meme Karen. They were all a good two meters apart, but she was still yelling at them that they shouldn't be out and to go home. So this is exactly what a Karen does, just, you know, stamps her fucking business in everyone else's shit. As we're passing, I say, for fuck's sake, Karen, ease off. Sorry, I had to back away from the mic just to, you know, really express it. And he also says, at this rate, the heart attack will get you before COVID does. So he's really pissed at Karen. When we get back home, and my wife is in the kitchen with our 11 year old and 14 year old. My youngest walks up to her and asks for an ice cream. My wife says, sorry sweetie, we don't have any ice cream. So what does my son say? Yep, he says, oh fuck's sake Karen. So the son's picked it up. Then wanders off to his room to play, leaving my wife standing open mouthed. I'm trying my absolute hardest not to laugh when my wife finally manages to speak. Karen? She asks. She doesn't spend a lot of time online, so hasn't come across this before. I'm a bit surprised that she's focusing on this rather than the curse word, but anyway. Before I can speak, my 11 year old daughter chips in with, Oh, that means you're someone really nice. She was clearly trying to be helpful. But then my 14 year old son follows it up with, No it doesn't, it means you're a bitch. My wife now turns on him. You're saying I'm a bitch? She says, No, says my 14 year old. He's saying, You're a bitch. There then follows a brief but heated conversation where my 14 year old digs himself a hole so deep he'll still be in it after lockdown is finished while my daughter tries unsuccessfully to sneak out between them. All ends up with my 14 year old having his tech privileges taken away for the rest of the week for the use of the word bitch, my 7 year old banned from going anywhere with me for the foreseeable future and somehow my 11 year old daughter getting told off for lying. My wife then googled Karen and got in a foul mood that anyone could think that she could possibly be one. I kept quiet even though she had spent nearly an hour on the phone the day before asking to speak to the manager of our local supermarket to complain about the quality of the substitutions from the food delivery. I tucked my 7 year old in tonight, gave him a big hug and said don't worry, dad is in more trouble than you are, mummy will be fine. My wife then came in to give him a goodnight kiss. What did the little fucker say? Night Karen, fuck my life. So yeah that's a new word for anyone that's um, been a bitch and yeah too bad if your actual name is Karen because you're pretty much fucked. 
Um, I do suggest a name change because that meme name isn't going anywhere. In fact, it's just getting worse. You're pretty much cursed with that name. Um, I'd just start calling myself Rin from now on. Maybe Carrie or Car. Yeah, whatever. I'm pretty sure now if you search the name Karen in the Urban Dictionary, it'll come up with that definition. So, yeah, that's just the way we describe middle-aged women who are nosy, bitchy, and um, demands to speak to the manager. That's just the name for it. So that's your name, it's too bad. Yeah, that was a, a fun little light-hearted story. If your name is Karen, please leave a comment. I wanna know uh, how you get treated these days with the name Karen. Um, did you used to like your name before it became something else? And do you know any Karens? And do you use the name Karen as an insult for other people? Please let me know it in the comments below. I'm looking forward to seeing your comments and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. So yeah, goodbye. That's it for now. Bye.